up, internet. It's me, Red Boson, and today we're talking about why are some people smarter than others in a scientific way. I made what? I made why are some people smarter than others video for once, but because of you guys, some of you guys don't really like the beginning, so I decided to remake them and make them better. Alright, back into the main question. So why are some people smarter than others? Well, in scientific way, it's actually determined by your genes. Oh, not that genes. This gene. It's genetic material, DNA, RNA, whatever you guys want to call it. But, but there's no specific genes that is called the smart genes. I mean, not one, but four. <laughs> Since, you know, we have so many genes. For example... The height actually determine your intelligence. You're like, what? What? How's it possible? Well, according to a scientific study, it's actually true. So I'm sorry, those short people. The reason why is because they have low self-esteem. There are so many factors that determine your intelligence. But none of them actually are that significant since, according to, you know, according to scientific study. Your personality actually it plays a really huge effect on your intelligence. People who usually try hard every single day usually are much more intelligent because they are willing to put effort into what they want to do. And people who are lazy, uh, that's totally not me. Which would they wouldn't to accomplish anything smart but how come some people are born as a genius like this guy it's back to genes again genetic materials that's really really basically it makes you you but how does gene ties into genius gene gene genius haha ha. So when you're small, you, you've seen those really, really smart kids. What does those smart kids have to do with their parents? Their parents are also smart. Most, most of them. Most of them. I mean, like, not including, like, some exceptions, you know. But most of their parents are really smart. And their parents actually are affecting how smart your genes are. I mean, their genes are. I mean, I don't know if you're smart or not smart. Maybe you're dumb. Maybe you just watch this video. You know, anyways. According to a study that has shown that mother, like, their intelligence actually affects the baby's intelligence. So if you want to have a perfect, I mean, perfect uh, baby, like, smart in it, you need to pick perfect in, like, a, a, academic, of course. You need to pick a really intelligent woman if you want to, if you want to like have a really smart kid, baby. And then if you don't care, then yeah, it's your problem. Uh, it's not mine. <laughs> well, of course, you can control your per personality and your brain. I mean, how s the intelligent, you can control intelligent by, you know, exercising your brain. By work hard every single day and play hard, of course. Everybody knows that. Work hard, play hard. And you probably want to do some exercise. Bring exercise. Doesn't matter. And you try hard in like anything. Like puzzles and and uh, math, problems, math problems and some other brain teasers. And then they will actually help you with like how you will think your critical thinking why must you torture but me like flap you want to improve your um imaginary like not like thinking about imaginary friends like your creepy neighbors little kids do but like you actually come up with like really creative ideas you actually want to come up with really creative ideas cuz a lot of companies want that so you want to what you want to do is you want to you know, think of solutions. Give yourself a question and think of of a solutions. You can search it on Google, of course, and you know, 
and all those actually makes you smarter. And what is the definition of smart? Well, nobody knows for like for real. For you can be you can say smart is knowledgeable, or you can sm say smart is imaginative, imaginative, or you can say smart is like is the ones that just work hard, like what I said. But you are the one who just determine your your strong spots and your weak spots, your weakness and your you know your advantage, your advantage over other people. So you, you have to determine it. And you, uh, after you determine it, you have to set a goal. And you, if you want to work on your weak, weak spot, then for example, if your weak spot is like, let's just say it's problem solving. You want to solve as many pro questions as pro possible. <laughs> Can we talk right now? But while at that, you have to somehow still like improve your other you strong you like your strong spot you can't just just work on your weak spot so yeah th thanks guys for watching and li leave a like and comment below and yeah